people saying sound is okay, so that's cool. I would like to hear in the comments, let me know in the comments, there, there should be a chat next to the video. I wanna know where are you tuning in from? As you know, I'm in Australia, and if you've subscribed to this channel in the last year and a half, then uh, you know I haven't been very active, but that's because I was busy with project, busy, busy, busy with life, and uh, in general, just life got a little bit crazy, and uh, I had to put YouTube a little bit on the side and focus on my job and soccer coaching career as well. We have people tuning in from Iran, Romania, Canada, all over the place. That's fantastic. Russia, Nimnoshko Gavar Yuparuski. I always like these introductions where people are saying, where are they tuning in from? Because I like to travel and uh, to see where the YouTube reaches. That's fantastic. So we've got a few people in the house and also I wanted to get to the other question that people ask me quite often and that is where have I been? Okay, so where have I been? <laughs> it's, uh, as I said, I've already mentioned it, uh, life got a little bit crazy. I've got two kids and uh, also another thing that I'm doing outside of work is uh, soccer coaching. And I spend a lot of time at the club coaching and uh, improving as a coach. So I had to put YouTube a little bit on the side. But now when the coronavirus is on the... Now when the coronavirus is around and everyone's locked down, soccer season's finished, soccer season's postponed. So we will have more time. I have more time to create more tutorials. And that's why I jumped on, uh, on the YouTube. Okay, so I'm back which is good for you. You can expect more content. And a lot of you actually ask me what, uh, what, uh, what I will be doing, whether I will be doing YouTube videos in terms of animations or other areas. And uh, that's up to you. What, what do you want to see? Let me know also in the comments. If you want to see more of animations, let me know because I've always created a content for you guys. So what do you want to learn? At the moment, I am wanting to do more Git just because I think uh, it's very important for your work, for your workflow, making sure that you've got everything backed up, you've got everything, you've got all the history of things. So we will be definitely doing more Git videos at the start and then it's up to up to what uh, what you guys let me know in the comments after, under, uh, under every video, okay? And just to continue on that, I wanted to share with you three or four, one, two, three, four. four, four links to cool resources if you are learning Git. The first one would be a simple GitHub, simple GitHub uh, cheat sheet that has the basic configuration, how to create branches, how to make changes to your repo, and in general, just the simple commands that you need to know while you're starting with Git. The second one is from Atlassian, and this is from the guys who created Bitbucket, which is one of the most popular post popular hostings for Git resources or Git repositories. And this one is printable A4 page where you can actually print it out, have it on your desk, and when you're working with uh, Git, just refer to all these commands as well, okay? So I'll probably create one of mine that you can download from I Hate Tomatoes as well. But in the meantime, these are the cool resources that you can refer to when you're learning it. And the next one is actually pretty cool visual visual playground where you can play with, with Git, okay? So this is where you can learn how to create a branch. So I think Git, Git branch, and the name would create a branch, then you can check it out. Then you can create a commit. And you'll see how it actually grows, okay? So if I create another commit, you will see how it grows and uh, how, how the commits are created then you can delete it, merge it. And uh, so if you are firstly, if you are if you are starting with Git, this is and, and you're struggling with the 
code or with the terminal, check out this visual, 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 uh, what is it called? Visual cheat sheet, visual cheat sheet that uh, will, help, will help you to understand how Git is hanging together, how the IDs are created for each of the commits, where the, where the head is moving. So this is very good if you are more visual person and you are not really into the into the terminal. Okay, and the last one is also visual, visual cheat sheet from the guys from NDP software. And here they broke it down into the different zones or different workspace index, local repo, upstream repository. So when you click on each of these pillars, you'll see the individual Git commands that you can use. And it also explains how you're moving the file from the workspace to the index to the commit and how you how you're interacting between the three stages okay so i've got this coming up in my view, future videos as well but i wanted to share these links with you so you can get a head start and maybe you know everyone is on, on a different level when it comes to git but maybe some of these links will be very useful okay so check it out i'll leave links to all three of these or four of these under the video and so then you can get to it and uh, use it in your time as well okay thank you very much sebastian for welcoming me back <laughs> as i said i was away for a bit and but i'm i'm so excited to be back i'm so excited because i always missed it I always missed it even when I was doing more coaching, but now with the lockdowns, everyone's everyone's at home and I've got more free time because I don't spend the time coaching, okay? So let me know in the comments, what would you want to learn in my future videos, okay? At the, at the moment, as I said, I'm recording a series of Git videos, but, uh, but after that, it's up to you guys, okay? How to become a better front-end developer, okay? So that's another question. How to become front end dev how to become front end developer? That's interesting. How to become front end developer? I guess you just need to study, study, practice, 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 create few things, and then apply for for jobs. And uh, I think that's how you become a front end developer. Greetings to India, India. A lot of a lot of people. India, Bangladesh. Great stuff. As I said, I I just wanted to come on share a couple links with you and mainly say hello say hello great to know that i'm uh, unmuted not like at the beginning of the video <laughs> where i was actually muted and people couldn't hear me so i will wrap it up that guys there i wanted to say hello say th say thank you for sticking in subscribing even though i wasn't actually very very active on youtube in the recent times but trust me i'm back i'm back and i will be doing more videos like this before we before we fine tuning and before we wrap it up if you have a spare click smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this there is a question coming up from gregory Explain work with Git command line with simple, simple project. Okay, that's exactly what I'll be doing in the next couple of videos. We'll be creating branches, we'll be merging them, we'll be resolving conflicts and everything from command line inside of VS Code. Okay, so if you're using VS Code, you'll be really happy with that. I'm using VS Code as well, so everything should be should be in line and Greetings also to Netherlands. Okay, hello Hank from Netherlands, Gregory from Russia. React Native SVG animations. Okay, so another suggestion. As I said, more suggestion you give me, the better idea I have what you want to see. But we are starting with Git. Okay, Git is coming out first. Argentina, South America is in the house. Sebastian, greetings to Argentina. Great to see you. And also, I'm very excited to be back. As I said, tomorrow is my recording day. Friday is recording day. I'll be recording 
as many videos as I, as I can. And then next week you can look forward to more videos. And I'm also planning to do more of these live streams as well. So hopefully the, the audio is good. Obviously video should be cool as well. But let me know if there is any technical issues. I wanted to just test drive this. I'm using the Ecamm Live, the new new program. So if it work, if it's working, that's great. But at the start, I <laughs> didn't realize I was I was actually muted. Okay. Thanks for the animation lessons on your website. No worries, Gregory. You're welcome. I'll be honest, they're a little bit outdated, but they still teach you the basics, teach you the good principles, and some of the some of the most of the most of the syntax is still the same. So feel free to still use it. Sign up. If you are new to my channel, head over to iheadtomatoes.net where um, I've got plenty of tutorials and also plenty of courses that you can sign up to. Some of them are free, some of them are premium, but you will learn from some of them or from most of them. Okay. Oh my God, where was I? <laughs> where, 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 where are I? I, started, I talked about it at the start of the video. I was nowhere else than just uh, spending time with my kids and with my wife being busy working on my project and soccer coaching as well, okay? So, hello, hello, coding and caffeine. Hello from Switzerland. <laughs> Great to see you. Always happy to see comments from you guys and I recognize some of your avatars. And uh, it's really good to see some of the familiar faces here. Audio is too low. Is audio too low for everyone or is it just for me? Oh, sorry. Is it just, is it for everyone or is it just for some of you? Okay. Few videos on features and changes in g sub version 3 from hank okay so that's that's another good question will i continue creating the animation videos and i might but i'll be honest i'm on a daily work on, on a daily basis working more mostly with react git uh, graphql and all the all the animations actually not used at the moment on my project okay so i'll i'll I want to teach you what I'm using on a daily basis and animation is not that at the moment. Okay. So it doesn't, doesn't mean that I don't like animations that I don't want to do more of that, but audio is great. Fantastic. So only guys, if you're complaining that the audio is too low, then uh, maybe put the headphones on or turn it up on your side. Okay. <laughs> turn it up, turn it up, then turn it up, then. Show my last project. Uh, do you mean the one that I'm currently working on? It's not public yet, so I'm working on a on a on a new application. So it's an application for a company called Whisper, Whisper.com, and we are rebuilding old platform with React and uh, GraphQL. Okay, so the old platform is old .NET or Java, Java software, and we are rebuilding a new one. Okay, so I can't really show it because it's behind the login and it's not released yet, but um, yeah, that's what I'm currently working on the last year and a half. So that's what took me away from YouTube, but I am back. Okay, if it's a little bit low, I'll fine tune it for next time. Hello, hello, hello. Ahmed, greetings to India. Show public, show public. Uh, not sure what you mean by showing public, but uh, I'll show you the the website. Whisper, whisper.com. And this is the site that I'm not working on. This is the marketing site, but the behind the scenes, there is a, plat a platform or application that, that we are rebuilding. Okay, so that's whisper.com. Show my last public project. Uh, I haven't done many. I haven't done many, to be honest. Uh, I'm working usually on, on a few big, project now my video is my here it is here it is sorry i couldn't see myself so this is it this is where i'm currently working whisper.com okay iran and greetings to iran iran greetings to iran 
Any other questions, guys, before we wrap it up? As I said, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Stay positive. Stay fit. Keep working. Keep being happy. It's hard to maintain a YouTube channel while working full time. You are a legend. You know what I mean because I've got two kids, age 9 and 10. They active. I want to be active with them. And really, YouTube takes a lot of time. Okay, it's a lot of lot of effort is putting into it and to be honest there's not much reward from the youtube youtube ads and um, just youtube is not to make money but i just like to create and share the content okay so that's the main thing couple of questions coming in keep them coming and also if you ever watch my video and you get stuck just write write a comment underneath it gives me ideas for what you want to uh, learn in the next videos Okay. There's a lot of comments. Some of them are the same. Here is one. Could you learn advanced animation in React? I've got actually quite a few workshops on my site with advanced animations. Not in React, to be honest. I need to do some React and animations, but I've got some advanced animations definitely on my site. Okay, I hit tomatoes.net. Okay, so I'll wrap it up here, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Always good to see you. Always good to have a chat. I'll be going live more often. And I promise once a week I'll do some live Q&A. So if you keep your questions and just once a week, we'll hang out like this and you'll tell me what you want to learn and I can ask any question. Okay. Thanks, Dan. I'll do it next time. Okay, see you later guys, thanks a lot and don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding!